Here, you can help. defend towers against Lycan. Mm -hmm. Embrace versus Lycan. Good with Darkseer. Yeah. It's a really big weakness actually for Liquid that a lot of their damage is Damn. physical. Yeah, when, when you I'm gonna say, why was I? In, why didn't I just jungle in the, be in the beginning anyways? Mm -hmm. But Misery. this is gonna open up some room for the <laughs> two supports. <laughs> He uh, ends up dying to the neutrals and didn't actually even go for it. TPs are cancelled. They still have to play careful in this mid lane without the rotation. Spada is still... They see the lion and the Ursa though. They're still going to be able to run down Puppy this time around. The Sunstrike will land. A TP comes out from the Ursa, but it's obviously too late. That'll be for... a potential a lot. Because this hero does rely on being able to get a free Aegis. Now, if Liquid can actually get a pick off in the mid lane, they can actually transition this into an early Roshan. They're going to try and go for this dive. The Sunstrike will be able to block Weehaw, and the TPs are coming in. But Man's already popped the ultimate. Looks like they're gonna go for body here, but he managed to get saved by the Oracle. Oh, Some of that damage is gonna go down. Misery. Puppy, they're gonna be able to turn for him. He's already thrown out that cold embrace. He'll be surrounded by the wolves. Spada is the one picked up there from Liquid who will end up going down. But Misery may still lose his life here. They're holding on to the snowball from Pearl. It's gonna be thrown out in second here to stall up Misery as much as possible. They have the eye shards to be able to block him in. And well, the medallion are gonna be enough. He's gonna be dying for this one. The healing salve keeps him alive, and they do manage to get Misery. That is a one. The game really relies on them to be able to get this and this is why they're predominantly playing here uh, the snowball coming in he's on the wrong side of the ice charts too Derek's gonna come in from the side he does have his ultimate but he chooses not to use it on Kuro especially since it's being controlled up by the winter wyvern now they're gonna be able to come in with Mana but is the damage actually gonna be enough and Kuro is being saved on one stand by the winter wyvern while Derek saves himself they're going for Weeha instead but the damage is too much Weeha's gonna be able to actually chase away the Lycan and now Mana he's in too deep against two and there comes a their mid laner got a lot out of this and Mata should be oh, dying now in silence. silence. The Rod of Atos is actually keeping Weeha from being able to chase him down, but Misery is still able to help get him down. And the Wolves are on top of Wee, but it's fine. out here, turns around, goes to the Hex, but immediately that's taken off by the Oracle. A nice two-man silence is actually going to prevent, prevent some aggression from Highlight Ice. Look at that, the Wolves pulls the Sun Strike! Liquid take a kill against Team Secret while committing no heroes whatsoever. And now they're actually going to go to the mic the Tumble Bats. Oh, what a win this race for Puppy! Turns that one right around against Derek, trying to blow him up. The Snowball comes up through. But Tumble Bats still healthy, though, trying to stay ahead of Eternal Heavy. Oh, going for some of these Squisher heroes gets a little bit too close, though. Eternal Heavy starts nabbing onto him. Pearl, he's not going to be escaping. Oh, what a great ice charge, but still, he's locked inside the trees, only buying himself time, not actually saving his life. But as you said, Mind Control has pushed out the top lane. Oh, he's here too. Puppy as well. Mind Control is going to look for the escape now. Gets Highlight Tie. And he's going to turn and go for the Bible Ward. He's actually going to be able to touch Highlight Tie's down. Mind Control is now They don't have to back too many more. Oh my. They had to play like that. Had to have it. They're both going to go down. Secret, fortunately for them, they're going to be able to pick up this Roshan that they desperately needed. But Liquid looked like they want to try to make an attempt. But Weehaw doesn't have, have the ghost. Health, though. That is so dangerous. They do have the disarm and the silence on the Jarek. They now have Kuro and oh, he's They're going to be able to kite around Eternal Emmy. He's got nothing here. Jarek's on the bottom side. He's actually saved himself. They've taken away the Aegis while Weehaw looks to be able to chase down Jarek. The ultimate wears out, but he's still not dead. Back over to Eternal Emmy, where he's surrounded by three. He obviously has no hope. Team Liquid, they bait Seek. Smoke, it looks like Eternal Envy Smoke oh, has out. I think they and see him. Jarex is trying to get back to the Tier 2 tower. Puppy will be able to slow him down, though. Jarex should be dying here. The Silence controls him long enough. Maybe he can get off both promise, but no. It's just too fast. So Secret gets that quick support kill. We'll turn it into a Tier 1 power. Puppy Man's ultimate to be able to make sure he has a clean escape, and Kuro's already one step ahead. And Puppy's peeing top. He's saying, guys, we've got to deal with this Beastmaster. Yeah, Puppy's already dealing with it. He's dealing with it all right. He's actually end up going down to stack himself to keep some of that tier 3 power damage alive. My control is going to be chased down by Weehan. Highlight die though, so it's well worth the sacrifice of Puppy. Yeah, Liquid managed to pick up both the tier 2. Oh, got the player! Oh, no! That was a blink dagger! Shit. Oh. Jerix, he's going to be run down here. He was trying to get an aggressive ward up, but now we should know that there's a ward of secret sitting oh, there. They're going to be able to pop Jerix almost silence up a little bit longer, and he won't be able to get off that false promise. Now the Winter's Curse laid out, but oh, that was a mistake. Only catching three. It's Weeha, hoping to be able to fight this one now. Still, Pop the Ghost after Justin has a primal war, but still, there's enough magic damage to be able to threaten him. Now it's all heavy comes in, finally picking up that Blink Dagger and blows oh, they up need for Weeha. They're going to be able to actually go for Weeha as soon as the Yule Scepter is down, but it may not be enough. It's Epic Blast, oh, Weeha back. and Liquid, they're just being run down now. My Control's going to be next one up. Who tries to go for the DPM, but damage is too much. Eternal will be able to finish him off.
Matamba Man gets the kill in the end with the Necronomicon. And Kuro knows it's coming. He's quick on the retreat, trying to stay ahead of Weeha, but he'll catch up eventually with the Old Scepter. The rest of his team is sitting on the side. They've got the Paul Thomas ready to go. Kuro is not actually... Yes, he is going to be saved by the Paul Thomas. Now the Witcher's first defense is there. They're going to be able to blow up by control. Oh, the Necronomicon's fighting against them now. The Ice Ball laid out his beautiful position. Highlight dies almost immediately. Oh, they're going to Another save for Poppy. He has to deal with the Wolves up now as he's being chopped away for it, but show him that the TV will complete just in time. We have Necronomicons all over him, but it doesn't matter. Too liquid. Lada. Oh, this is dangerous. He actually wants to go for the Sun Strike. A little bit of soul stuck, and we'll they have the damage. damage. The damage is in again. The Turtle Envy finishes him off as Mata was playing. Now, they know he's the primary damage dealer, but Liquid can't really do anything about it. With the Golden Break to back him up, the physical damage lineup that Liquid have just isn't being very successful in secret. He can get there in time. And he's immediately going to start TPing Matumba Man. He might just walk into them. Surrounded in the middle lane. Matumba Man, he needs to be able to get off this BKB. It's just in time. Oracle even popping that ultimate. They're going to turn. Who are they going for? Puppy is going to be identified as the first target. Oh, Matumba Man's going to go down. He's going to be blown up by the Sun Strike. A puppy pulling the brakes. He's going to run out of it. He's going to get the good Winter's first. A beautiful one. The bow's up. Throw all by himself. A missed up from Highlight Dive. And he gets off the bigger death on Fada. They need to be able to control him. The cold snap is actually falling up. It's going to be the nice start. Kuro, he's making sure Kuro won't be good to Right around this fight. He still managed to get on the Derek still popping the range, and he will be able to catch up until they disarm. Snowball stun. Oh my god, is the total heavy? Not gonna get anything out of this first life? He isn't. Now he's way too deep behind this tier one tower, underneath an ice wall immediately. He managed to get the blink forward. Mind control will be able to get them the vision though. Once again, a cold snap comes through. Ice dark walking out of Turtle Heavy. He knows he has to turn and fight for the walrus much, making things difficult. Where's the sun? Did he not have one? It's so Oh, there's a tornado stopping a turtle heavy from escaping, and they will finish him off. Team Secret. They thought they weren't able to pick up the mid tower with the Aegis. But well, Liquid aren't going to be able to force out any buybacks, and Secret are still kind of in an okay position. The XP lead is still in their favor, and some around. Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, uh, the Ghost can't hit you from DP. What, what about him? Oh, he's actually going to go for Misery with a Sun Strike. They should have enough extra damage to be able to kill him. Now the question is, can Mind Control actually get out? He doesn't have a TP, so that seems unlikely. Eternal Envy gobbles him up. Yeah, there's no boar there either to slow him down. Or is on the Death Prophet, so it's going to be back up in 45 and they seconds. actually kill Weeha here. Puppy, he's coming in from the right-hand side. He goes to provide him some time. And then Curse comes in big on the Fada and Fada control Highlight Dive. He pulls up Derek. Make sure there's no fall promise here, but Fada, he's actually getting away from this a little bit. Misery stops him. No, the tornado! He finds him more time! Fada gets away! And on top of that turns against the tunnel and he's surrounded by an army of Necronomicons! A long range snowball! Curl wants some more! He says, come here, puppy, but he can't quite stop. Secret, they were able to get it out of their mid later, but this time Liquid. Fada's the bait, and they're gonna take down the mid tower. Oh, Matsapa man. Forced to pop the ultimate, the finger is the exorcism. Mind Control is pushing out the top lane at the same time though. Misery has to be careful with this defense. He's gonna be jumped on by the final war. There is no Sun Strike this time around. Meanwhile, back inside the pit, they have picked up the Aegis. Mind Control unable to finish off Misery, but starts threatening those racks, forcing mass TPs, which allows Liquid then to strike. They've actually controlled up Eternal Envy with a beautiful set of ice shards. They're gonna purge him and just kind him around again. This could be once again Eternal Envy in too deep with the Aegis and dies twice in a row. Yeah, Puppy's stuck on top of the script right now. There's no that can really help him. Tornado timing. No opportunity for Eternal Heaven to be able to jump back with a blink dagger. Oh, he's They're just gonna throw all their disciples. They've got the disarm. They take him out. Secret. That was beautiful. And there is a vacuum which is curse combo available still. But uh, he's got the BKB, so he's gonna stay on the front lines here. He pops it now as he pushes back Wee Han, lays down the ice wall, making sure there is no immediate jump from Secret. Eternal Heavy running into that one cost them their initiation. Yeah. The buyback was used, they still lost the key racks here, the melee one. The top one was the wolves. They're chipping away at mid and top and every single time they go for a siege. And there it goes, almost immediately. Is now the position. jump and actually a minute to lock down Puffy. The turn around from Pylon dies, the lion can't protect Puffy. The Sun Strike is not going to land due to a force tap. They managed to get the vacuum back in as well. Liquid, are they in too deep for this one? Eternal Envy pops the Agonist in range and he's actually taking up so much of this damage successfully. Oh, the Ice Shark Man eventually run down. They are able to get him. The Ice Shark blocking in Eternal Envy. Puffy, he's still floating around with this. They're they're back 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 here on one. Control. They might be able to just finish up this fight with a big win over Secret as we have dropped in once again for the Ice Shark. Ice Ball combination and they lock in Weeha into a tomb of ice.
Liquid win the fight. Take the bulls promise. Still though, the Witcher's Curse is controlling up a top of man. They need to be able to blow him up. Back and brings the back in, but that back movement speed is too much for them to handle. They can't catch up. And Secret do not get what they need. Do not buy back. It won't matter if uh, I have it. Oh, mind control. He's boots to travel onto the Hawk. They have the Ice Shards blocking him in. The Sun Strike does land. And Coral has to wait out this Ghost Scepter. Now they actually have the Golden Brace as well. Good turnaround here from Team Secret that might just get oh, the free kick off on Coral. Coral can't afford to lose this gem. They're actually going to be able to back and put it back in. There goes the false promise. Coral turns around, goes for the disable. But Top of here in force. Popping that ultimate as well as the BKB. But he's dodging this fight, not actually uh, attracting himself to any one person. Oh, because they popped the Enraged into the Bone Promise out, though. And Girl will be able to TP back home until Yule Scepter stops him. And that, it will be the sacrificial land, it looks like, for Liquid. As they unsuccessfully tried to force that fight. They are pushing out the top lane, though. Quick, quick thinking here from Fada, as he knows he doesn't want to give the opening for Seeker to be able to take Roshan with the numbers advantage. So instead, oh, he doesn't give him the one with the curse! They get my control, and he's down for 90 seconds. Team Secret, they should be able to hold while still getting this Roshan. If he was able to get the roar off, that should have been a puppy kill. And Highlight Die might not have been able to hold this by himself, but instead... But he obviously needs a lot more gold. He wants to be able to get that plus. Oh, they actually scattered out Highlight Die. Tornado, cold snap, cold snap. Will actually be there to be able to stall him up. Stop that TP out. And a free kill for Liquid. Yeah, they're gathered around this bottom lane. Oracle, silent stuff, and the Ghost Scepter's gonna phase soon. He managed to get the disarm up on Eternal Levy. Pulse pops the Pulse Promise. Meanwhile, the right hand side, Highlight Die instantly gets taken out. The Winter's Curse controls the wolf, but that wolf dies immediately. And Matumba Man, the rest of the team, they're just going straight for the bottom lane. Oh my god, they want to be able to go straight for the Vegas Free Well, Secrets outside of the base. They get the Primal Roar. Oh, they can the but it's not going to be the case. But on top of it, he just doesn't care. He pops the DKB, goes straight from the throne with Necronomicon. There it is. JT is the game. The series, rather, even up one to one. Liquid say not today is they even up the series 1 1. They desperately needed this game to at least show that they could beat Secret. In the previous series, they had all the advantages in the world, and they still weren't even able to take a game against Secret. Great performance by them as they, I wouldn't want to even say Cruz, they really had a battle for that one. Absolutely. Both teams just seem to be ramping up as we finally hit our full.